Every six months, I would go in and check in with an uh, ICE officer at immigration. And usually the procedure is pretty simple. I go in there with my card, a paper that I've been carrying for years, and they sign off. They're like, okay, thank you for checking in. Where are you working? Where do you live? You know, it's like, it's the same story. I live in the same address, I work for the same people. And in my gut, I knew it wasn't good. But everybody that I spoke to, you know, kind of reassured me. It's like, Chad, you're doing so well. You know, it's like you've been participating in the community, you've been volunteering at the churches, and you know, it's like, you're doing so well. My parents are originally from Cambodia, and they fled Cambodia to Thailand. We're, we're both in tears, you know, it's like, we didn't know what was gonna happen. I didn't know that my wife's gonna like, put on her cape and save the world. <laughs> but <laughs> all of them like worked together to get me back to my to my wife, to my children, to, to my life here. You know, it's like I don't know what I've done. It's like I feel like I own the world. Binger Center for New Americans is a proud achievement for and by the students of the University of Minnesota Law School. Our students have been able to represent detained refugees, launch community education programs that benefit thousands of immigrants, and so much more than this. By creating the Binger Center for New Americans, they've created three immigration clinics as well as a dedicated education and outreach program, which is a robust immigration clinical experience for law students coming through this school. Actually, with the help of the Center for New Americans, I designed a project to do outreach to immigrants in rural areas of the state through medical clinics called Medical Legal Partnership. I knew what a great experience the Detainee Rights Clinic was for me and the strong sense of justice and passion I felt for working on these cases. I wanted to keep it going. I reached out to our uh, attorney who is the liaison for the Center for New Americans and expressed my interest in getting involved and they embraced that with open arms. They're working directly on cases for asylum seekers fleeing uh, violence and persecution from around the world. And they are working directly on Supreme Court arguments. The students who come here get um, their hands on some very exciting work. You get your hands dirty. You get in there. You get to, you know, do everything. You learn fact collecting, how to do requests, how to do client interviews and interactions, you know, how to go to court. While we were flying there, there were a number of immigration raids that happened in Atlanta. During those five days, it was people were like literally running across a trailer to like get papers scanned in and then sent to someone in Washington DC to file with the Board of Immigration Appeals. It's very, very rare for lawyers to actually be running or for there to be literally that much urgency. I mean, really just an incredible experience that really um, solidified for me um, a passion to continue in immigration law. If we were to sum up the Bayer Center in one word, it would be impact. Impact on immigration law and policy, impact on our students who are working in the clinic, and an impact on the immigrants who are served by the center. The Binger Center has an enormous impact on the lives of so many people.